Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where today I'm thinking I might try and expand the farm a little bit and then do a little bit of diving. We took a tiny, we were back a bit late and took a tiny hit to the stamina yesterday. So I'm kind of thinking that that might be a good thing to do. Coral stars. No, that's still the same. Had to be a farmer with Jeff. Jeff is going to be... He's going to be... Uh, 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 judging is the word, the uh, Harvest Festival. I want some moon cakes. Give me moon cakes. We had already seen that one. Oh look, everything is already watered. How very wonderful that is. Hurrah, yay. Right, so I'll do a bit of my ranching stuff. And we'll let this poor little chickadee out today because I wouldn't be surprised if you were a bit grumpy today, huh? You're looking okay though. 20 days old now. Had you for 20 days and you're... You're looking good. I could really do with building a barn. So if we're going to do a barn, should I spend some time today making room for said barn? I do. Well, I've got no doubt in my mind whatsoever that we're going to need wood for this. And a certain amount of bronze bars. I don't know how many bronze bars we have. That is one thing I could do as well instead of diving. I could go on a bronze bar hunt. Because we really kind of do need it. That weed was just driving me mad, sorry. I'm going to see if I can do this stump. I think it's uh, probably, yeah, it's too big. Okay, that's fine. Right, so... If I wanted... Oh, I haven't let the chicken out, have I? Nope. Out you come. Well, it spreads quite fast, huh? Right, so. Question is, for a barn, what do we need? Uh, why do I have this strong suspicion that the carpenters is shut on a Wednesday? Earth are you? Like a frog or something. An olive wing butterfly. That's a new one. Okay, loads of new stuff this time of year. Nice. And more celery. I don't need celery, I need figs. A Japan flower. What to do in Waku? The beach cleanup last week was a win, wasn't it? A lot of people came to help. It was really hot, but it was worth it. We did good. You did. Am I allowed in the observatory? I am. Cool. All the houses and things are massive in this game, except my house, which is tiny. Oh, so Waku lives in the observatory. Did he get to sleep on that cool sofa bed? Like, inset bed in... Oh, wow. It's amazing. So is Waku like the scientist? I think he might be. Okay, cool. Good to know. I got this ladder? No. Alright then. Who's on this side then? This is shame. Okay. I also want to know, is the, um... What are those trumpet mushroom things? No figs yet. Doing the new aquarium, I'm excited to see it once it's complete. It's going to make some of my research easier. Oh yeah, Kosuria is a scientist and works down with, uh, so we've got an astronomer and a, a marine biologist by the looks of it. 
I'm reviewing the contract with the municipal municipality, ensuring that every aspect of the museum expansion is legally accounted for. I hope you're doing that in a nice way, not in a horrible way. Uh, I have forgotten where I'm going entirely. I had some amazing plan. What was my amazing plan? Walter, tell me. Going somewhere with great purpose. It's dropped out of my head. Hate it when that happens. So, Carpenter, of course, I was. At this point, I may as well go back to the farm and go to the carpenters from that way. Done a full circle. Let's just see if the fast travel is up there yet. No, there should be one just by the carpenters, just up here. They are slowly filling in, but they're not quite there yet. I'll wait to get horses. By the time you get horses, though, all the fast travel's in. So you, well, you need the horse at the beginning. So there. Teach to reach the forest with haste, make two offerings to the forest tree. I don't know how to make offerings to trees. Carpenter is open, so let's go and have a little look at what everything requires and double check. So I can edit the farm buildings, so I can maybe move them around, which is nice. Okay, so Carpenter. 3,200 wood, 5 bronze bar, and 10 fiber. That is fine. Stable. There's 5 silver bars. Then I can get a horse, but that's 15,000. That's very expensive. A well, but I don't need that because I've been very sensible with where I put my farming stuff, and also I have sprinklers. A mill to process grain, and a silo to store hay. Resin. I might need that from the tree tap, which I haven't used so far. I might play around with that in the winter, actually. And a shed, which is an empty building, gold bars, and I can probably then put in all of my various artisan uh, machines. So, okay. So then a house upgrade would be 10 bronze bars and 5,000 coins. But 100 wood, 122 stone. Okay. So I clearly do need to just head right up to the mines and just need to get as much bronze as possible. So that's what we're going to do. I'll look around to see if there's I think that's just a wasp. Yeah. Not going to even bother catching you. I know what you are. I should have bothered catching that one, but it's run away too fast, so oh well. Right then, so. Head in here and let's go to the bronze part of the mines and get lots of bronze, hopefully. We're getting closer to helping the giants out. Let's go to floor 15. And I'll take out any monsters I find while I'm down here as well, just because they might drop what I need. You never know. Okay, we've got a nice crack in the ground there. That might give us some good amounts of copper, you never know, or bronze, or whatever you want to call it. There's also some over here. So that's a good start. Okay, that's three out of the 25 I need.
hanging in the air there. I think that's a cursed uh, object, but it's stuck. Cursed fragment, I think they call it. So let's get you. One day you might drop a bat wing, never know. Okay, nice, we found the way down, so... Might as well take it. No copper here, how dare they? I don't really need slimes anymore, I've got all the slime goop I need, so... I either find the way down fast or I go to a different level. Like 25 or something. Oh, come on. I have no stamina left. Oh, nice. I found some earth essence. This is certainly terrible. Where's the way down? Ah, rewarded with lots of lots of bronze, so that's nice. I don't mind that quite so much anymore. I wonder if I've leveled up in mining recently. Uh, let's have a look. Mining. I am level 5 and double ore is the last one that I haven't actually got. Sell the price of gems, double gems. I'd get double gems before I increased their price. But yeah, on uh, on level 6 I'll hopefully be able to get the double ore, which will be quite nice. Alright, how many, how many uh, things have I got now? 20. I need 25. So I think I'm going to exit the mines here and go down at level 25 and see if I can find just a few more. That would give me enough to do the barn if I so wished. But I would need 50 total if I wanted to do the house upgrade. But I feel like the barn might be more useful earlier on. Once I've done the barn though, the house upgrade would definitely be the next thing I would do. much are they today so this should be at least another five seven more should be on 27 now Literally all this stone, my goodness. If I could get the 50, I would love it. The other thing I want to do though, let's go home. I'm going to need a couple of hundred stone, but I've got like... Well over a thousand, I think. So what if... Hi. What you doing, Mark? Shh. Okay. Meh. Shh. Meh, cutie. I'm not going to hurt you. It's a little dog! Very 
very good. This pup isn't dangerous. Nah, just looking for a good home, aren't you? They're yummy, I promise. Try some. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, your little curly tail. Good puppy. You've been through some rough times, haven't you? How long have you been living out in the wild? I don't speak English. <laughs> You're in luck. I have just the place for you. We'll keep you at the animal shelter until we can find you a good home. How's that sound? I thought you'd like that. Come on, you can stay with me tonight. I'll get you cleaned up. Keeping a stray in your house? What if she bites? This poor thing there, she's a sweetie, I can tell. It's all in the eyes. That's adorable. I like dogs, they're just so full of life and happiness. You know, I spend my days down in the caves. It's an honor to defend this town from the monsters that plague it. But after a while, well, it can weigh on you, all that monster hunting. I need balance in my life and volunteering at the animal shelter, helping the strays find their way, really helps me find my way too. Keeps me sane. It's a win-win, ain't it girl? I thought so. Go home garden rake. You're still calling me garden rake though. Negative points for the garden rake. Positive points for the animal loving. So, so far you're coming out slightly better than Scott, but only just. <laughs> Raphael and Pablo, have only, I've only seen positive things about those two so far, so we'll have to see how their personalities balance. Right then. Let's pop on the copper, bronze, whatever we want to call it this time. Lovely, so putting five of those on. I'll put the rest of the building mats away. We've got already enough for one more, so we've got six and a half bars worth out of possible ten that we might want. Don't know. Maybe we'll just go for the barn and then start saving up after that. Quite a bit of silver ore as well. Enough for about three bars. More explosives. Um, sell the stinger and the slime goop. I need to keep the caterpillar. Another donation for the museum and the fossil node. Um, monster loop, we want to keep the water essence. I don't even know why, like, or what I would use it for, but I'm just like keeping them just in case. Maybe I should keep a stinger just in case too then. Right, so also in donations I need to put the water geodes. And the silky fur. So I'm three silky fur and three meat. I need two more meat, two more silky fur, and a load of bat wings. More be produce and scavenger. Scavengeables I'm going to put in produce, I think. Uh, the celery and the egg. Right, so with the stone, I have like a thousand. So I'm wondering if I could, I'm not gonna like go overboard on it, but maybe I could make something like 10 or so stone chests and see what they sell for. You know, I could make a scarecrow or two, couldn't I? Sell those. I could make, uh, I 
to say stone chests. 50 each. Maybe I'll just make five. Yeah, I'll make five chests and two scarecrows and we'll sell them. Because why not craft something and sell it and see how much it goes for? Sounds like a good idea to me. Monster loot. Earth essence. I don't know if I should maybe sell more of my earth essence. I'm not really sure. We've got loads and loads and loads of crops planted now, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I think we need to go diving again to get some more silver kelp. No, it might actually just be scrap for the sprinklers. Let's see. Um, I've made another one. Okay. Cool. So you can go here. One here and one here as well. to go home quite yet though is it I need to make sure that I've got on me um I think I'm gonna make the 200 so if I make sure that I've got on me all the wood that I need which is 200 I think and all of the stone I'm going to need so I am going to need to chop down some more trees 100% of the way this one's been annoying me for ages In the way of things I'm going to want to do eventually with the, the farm anyway, so. Um, this one's kind of in the way. very slightly annoying as well for an area that's meant to be all farm area you're on like 110 getting a bit tired though so it might be time to head to bed at this point just because it's like getting quite late at night as well but that was a good day i think we might have the barn tomorrow Oh, so cute, that thing with Mark, though. Oh. Right, so my five bronze bars are done. Everything got sprinkled. Wonderful. Uh, I need to read my mail. I'm in need of an arapaima. The fish likes colder weather and is usually out after sunset. Can you please help me with the sunflower? Oliver and I are making his dad a sunflower crown for his birthday. The problem is we don't have any sunflowers. You need to deliver it before the 26th because that's when his birthday is. Valentina. Right then. I do indeed have sunflowers. So I can take those to Valentina. So if I see her around, I'll put them in my inventory. If I see her around, then fantastic. Um, okay, so I'm going to carry on with my idea of getting the barn up and running. I believe I need 200 wood for it, though. Could be wrong. That could be how many I need for the house. I'm not sure. don't really want you. That's 160. Then I kind of want to push this... Oh, actually, I will probably want to push this all back a bit. I'm going to need to make uh, an area for the barn as well. I kind of want to put it in this grassy area, but by, th by the time I've done all the building around there, half the grassy area will be gone anyway. It's really annoying. So I kind of want it like around here. I need enough room to make sure that the building can go in. And then when I know where the building's going, I'll uh, I'll do the fencing after that. I'll get rid of that trash as well. Right, so maybe some of these ones.
I think I can just like plant a new tree, I'm pretty sure. Right, we've got 200 now, so I think I've got everything I need to order the barn at least. Um, hoping that the carpenter is open today. When I come back, I'll let my chicken out as well. Come on, don't run away. No, that was that was irritating. Super irritating. Okay, never mind. I see them around all the time, it's fine. What are you? Don't run away. It's another Assam silk moth, which means I can now take that one to the museum. Because I already did the offering for the silk moth. I need to go out more insect hunting at night, don't I? So, let's have a look. Carpenter, barn. I actually have enough to do a barn. Wonderful. Then we can try and buy a cow. Put there. Would I prefer it slightly further forward? Maybe there? Yeah, I need to just... <gasps> it's important to have it in the right place. So I'm just going to go and push a little bit more of the grass away. And push it forward a tiny bit. And then we'll have a big old field. I'm going to increase the size of that field quite drastically and the chickens could just run around and it's going to all be cool and they'll love it and it'd be really wonderful. And they can have a little cow friend in there. I mean, I can see that in, in there the chickens and cows are kept separate, but I'm going to let them mingle together and hope for the best. So yeah, we just didn't push this forward enough. Can't let there be like one piece of grass in the way or anything. Right, let's go back and place it as I want it to be placed. No, not that one yet. I feel sad I didn't uh, grab enough coconuts off the trees at the end of summer. Not that, <laughs> not that is a big thing. Something I could have done to get a bit of money, but... Right, shop. Ooh, aquariums. Nice. Oh, I need that calendar so bad. But not until I've got the barn. Okay. And that can go there. And then I can look at expanding the whole thing. No, no, no. <laughs> I had it just where I wanted it. How annoying. Yes. Right, so now we can play around with the walls and things and make them a nice, um, a nice enclosure. And then once it's built in two days time, I will get a cow in there. Wonderful, wonderful. That'll really super, super duper. Actually, I'll let... Uh... I'll let Cloud outside. And then once we've done this, we're going to be looking at really expanding the uh, the the chicken stock, I guess. The the livestock. All right, let's get. Some, oh, I think I had some fence posts in my inventory. Let's just do like thirty. 
and see how we see how we go basically so i'm just going to expand this out oh that's perfect it's really good okay Scythe a little bit down here. Just so I can get the wall in. Okay, looking good, looking good. Get rid of all the weeds. Uh, weeds and rocks are, and logs I'll get rid of, but I might keep the odd tree. They might enjoy that. I think the smaller trees I could just get, a, uh, get rid of, honestly. And the weeds that are stopping the grass from growing out. Irritatingly, I think that might be right in the way and it requires a hoe to get rid of it. I didn't even know that they grew on my farm. It is way too crowded around here. Still need to get that back a little bit. See, there'll be barely anything left in the actual, inside the actual enclosure. It's so irritating. Tree might need to go as well. This might take more than a day. It might take all of my stamina as well. But it's one of those things you've got to do it sometime. Right, let's make a few more. Fences. I'll probably just still use the fence gate down by the chickens. Okay, this is a huge nightmare here. So once I put a lot of this stuff down, a lot of this wall down, I may start to clear around it. Just a bit more. rid of that, uh, this, this, and that rock. Wonderful. So I think I need like two more. If I have fence posts left, I'll just sell them. <laughs> there we are. What a lovely place for my cows to come home to now. So what I want to do next, obviously I've got like grass that will hopefully spread around in their pen. 
Um, that may die o die back over the winter. I'm not sure how that exactly works. So if it does, we'll need to put new grass starters in here soon. I need to thin these trees out. So I think I'm going to get rid of these like pine trees and leave the round looking trees. Oh, 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 oh. I nearly, I nearly lost it there. Tree felling is really labor intensive. Okay, so the other thing I need to do is to make a little way through to the chickens. Wasn't what I meant. One last one. Really? Come on. Pick it up. There we are. So we're going to have the chicken pen, the barn, and then they should have like plenty of room for them to run about and do whatever they want to do in there. That should be a much more pleasant space for my little chickadees and my little mooadoos. <laughs> I don't know, I made that up. I feel like this is finally kind of starting to take shape. Oh, I didn't harvest these. Rats. Okay, I need something to eat and then I can quickly harvest the peppers. On the cob. I think I have a recipe for that, but honestly, I could just take a candied seed. That would be enough just to do a quick harvest. That was a very, very labor intense thing I did today. Right. Wow. Keeping you. I got an Osmium grade hot pepper. Guess what's going to the harvest festival? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Right, so keeping the sunflowers on me, the Assam silk moth has been donated and offered. Oh, okay. I can sell that then. Nice. Sell my leftover stone fences. I'll sell. That's it. That's all I'm going to sell. Building mats to put them all back. And there's also some stuff for produce. So I've just got the sunflowers left. So if I see Valentina around, I'll give that to her. But that was a really good day. Like getting that's going to look so nice when the barn is in there. I'm going to be quite happy with that, I think. Especially if I could put some decoration in there or something as well. Uh, I might move the barn. I don't know. I'll see how it looks once it's up. But I think that's probably time for us to go to bed. With that osmium grade pepper. I bet that's the ones I fertilized before I put it down. 717. Is that from the peppers? 680 worth of peppers. Okay. I can cope with that. The old gift that keeps on giving the hot peppers. I don't know if there's anything else that does that that uh, goes across two seasons. I'd like to know if it does. Sunny weather tomorrow. Salmon in the rivers during the fall. You can. Okay. Go and fish if that's your thing. It's not really, but I might do it. You never know.
Harvest Festival is coming up 4.15th, 7pm in the Allen Allen Square. Legendary farmer Jeff Smith will be the judge for the harvest display. To enter, bring your best products from each of the following categories. Vegetables, fruit, flowers, coop, barn and artisan. Right. So what have we got in terms of that? I have a gold star fruit, so that would be a good fruit. I'll put these into donations. We've got a gold star fruit and osmium hot pepper. Flowers. A silver starred sunflower. We might be able to get better than that though. But I'm going to put my best of everything in there. I'm going to put them down here. Anything for Harvest Festival will go down the bottom. Um... The only thing I have so far is an egg. Should go and see if there's any eggs this morning, just in case I get a bronze one or a silver one or something. So far I've been selling a lot of that. Hi! <gasps> a bronze lot. You beautiful little dude! I love you, Cloud! Cloud gave me a large egg. Two large eggs. <gasps> you can go outside today. You can go and peck around in the grass over here. Now, I still don't like the number of trees I've got here. As far as artisan products are concerned, though... Do I have any, like, good pickled corn or anything like that? Just have a look. I've got a couple of things that are artisan goods in the food chest. I've got a silver... Yeah, so the silver corn became silver pickled corn. So I'll take one of those. Um, donations. Okay, so we've got animal product, pickle, so that's an artisan product, a fruit, a sunflower, a flower, and a pepper. So that's five things. There were six though, so what was the last one? It will tell me in my journal. Extra is Bobby. Bobby? Hang on a sec. Is it, that's not Jeff Smith's son, Bobby, is it? A farmer with an inherited fortune. Perceived as boastful and lazy, he's known more for showing off than working the land. Because, yeah, Jeff Smith's son was called Bobby. We've nearly met all the humans, haven't we? All the extra humans. But I just want to go to the notes. Meet me. I don't think it went into the the meet me at the thing. Come to the empty cabin and you yeah, know, okay, so to read, let's see. So um coop and barn products. Right, so when I get my cow, I might be able to bring some milk. I might not be able to get very good milk, but out of all the rest of the stuff. I've got some decent things. I've got a large bronze egg at the moment. That's the best I've got so far. But I've got some. I've got ten days to save things up. And my barn will be ready. What tomorrow? Next day? Something like that. And we'll get a cow in there then. So that'll be next episode. And the harvest festival won't be for another couple of episodes. So it might be okay. You never know. This place is such a mess all the time. I hate it. I hate the fact there's trash still on my farm. Like, I'm trying to get rid of that at least. Kind of disgusting. And maybe like trying to clear the path as well. So 
been very, very lax about this so far. And it needs doing. Can't spend all day like swimming with the mermaids or like trying to find giants. This will at least allow me to get around my farm. At least a bit. There's some more trash there, see. No trash, no weeds, no trash, no weeds. The silver sickle is coming for you. I make it sound like a gang or something, don't I? The gang of the sing silver sickle has come. You feel a bit happier in there, Cloud. Would you be happier once you have some friends too? I bet you would. Get the big rocks out of the way as well. I can't get the big stumps or logs out of the way, but I can get a lot of stuff gone. To be honest, if I if I take too much grass away, I will probably end up with weeds instead. I'd rather have grass than weeds, I think. For now, until I get a chance to sort of like, I don't know, pave it over or something. Carry on with my little path. Okay, so we are already looking a lot nicer. Got rid of most of the trash. A lot of logs. A lot of the, the weeds that get in the way when I'm trying to walk about. Okay, the stones over here need a good going over as well. When I think about how many stones I've picked up down the mines, I, this shouldn't be too hard, right? Just to clear my farm a little bit. And yet I never do it. I swear half the reason I don't is because changing tools is annoying. feels nicer. At the very least, I think I've got most of the trash now. Why buy all my stamina? Yeah, I know. I mean, you can stay a little bit woodlandy, but just can I please be able to run around it and, and not get stuck? That's all I want, really. Just don't want all these like stones and logs and things right next to each other. Just give me a little bit of running room. Okay, so that is very helpful. Ugh, still more trash. Every time I try to get somewhere with this, there's more trash. Get rid of the trash and the weeds so that the grass can spread instead. Because I can run through grass, I can't run through weeds and I can't run through logs and stones, so... We don't mind the grass. Everything else is super annoying though. We missed Raphael's birthday, I realised. Not that I'm being particularly into birthdays right now, but, you know, got to wait another year for that now. It's a bit of a shame. Hey, little, little dude. Right, so, 
one thing that we can do today is change over my headphones. Ah, headphones. Love you too. Right. One thing that we can do today is go and have a look at the prices of the livestock and make sure that I have enough money for them when they do come through. Is that like a little lemur thing? Ah, oh, open 8 to 12? Oh, it must be open different hours on a Friday. Man, hey Axel. Food tastes different every place you go. It does indeed. Can I see opening hours, please? Oh, Friday's the only day. Oh no, it's closed on Saturday as well. Oh, I can't see how much a cow's gonna be. I've got two days to save up for it though. Right, let's go and hand in my egg to the goddess. I feel like if I make an offering that I feel a bit better about myself. I don't know. Just do. This one is it. Uh, yeah, coop animals, large egg. Very good. So we just need to do the duck egg and get a large duck egg, and that one's done. And then get some milk and wool and large milk and large wool and goat milk and things. So I need a goat, a sheep, and a cow for that one. Whereas I just need a chicken and a duck for that one. Rambutan, durian, mango, dragon fruit, apple, lemon, almond, and cocoa bean. Well, that'll be a thing for next year. <laughs> Unlocks a warp season. I have no idea what that is. Dried scavenger balls. Oh, I bet that some of the under. I wonder if um, seaweed would work as a dried scavenger ball. I don't think hay would, but I wonder if dried seaweed would. I'm going to go and try. I'm going to go and see if that's a thing I can do. Because I want to know all the things that I can do. I reckon my chicken's so much happier now though. If nothing else happens but my chicken is happy, I will be happy. <laughs> right then. I want to know if drying seaweed is a thing. So, sea loot. Seaweed. It is indeed. I'll take one to dry, one to eat, and one to sell. Yeah, dried seaweed, that's awesome. That would be really cool. Why well, have I got so much rubbish in my inventory? There's a lot of it. Earth geodes and all sorts. Where did that even come from? This is this is just from messing around in my in my farm, isn't it? It is, yeah. Good grief. Uh, so sea loot for the glass, raw juice, twenty nine seeds for the winter now, which is nice because I'll stick them in my sprinkler plots and just keep them from drying out or whatever or getting taken away. Uh, okay, so it looks like we've got some more. Possibly. Papaya. And this time I'm going to keep one. And sell the other just so I know how much to sell for. I think I am not going to make back the thousand or whatever I paid for the tree. Or maybe a bit, because I did a quest and that gave me 400. So we're already 400 towards it. 
which isn't so bad. Right then, we're at seven o'clock. I've got no stamina left. So that's when we go talking to people. Dangerous, I know. And generally, we go talking to people at the pub, so we either go to fish and ships. In fact, I think this time I'm going to go to fish and ships. Ooh, there's a little tiny butterfly. I wonder if I can catch you. Come on. Yes, a maple leaf cutter moth. Very good. That's the last thing I can catch today, though. Hey, Erica. You know, Brie came from a big city just like you. She had a fancy modeling job right before she married Walter. She doesn't look like a model. Like Leah, I could I could say yeah, but I wonder what kind of thing she modelled. No, 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 no. Ah, gotta go, gotta go. She's playing computer games. Well, she's disturbing everybody else. Macy, no, you're not going to shoot me. Gosh darn it, now I've got to restart. Game rage. Here comes Raj and Eva to do an intervention. No, you tell her. No, you tell her. Intervention. <laughs> Wait, let me pause. Oh, come in, come in. I was in the middle of playing the latest Call of Booty game. <laughs> I can't believe you made me say that. That's, that doesn't sound quite the same game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're here, we're here to talk about. <laughs> we know you're excited about the game, but maybe... Eva thinks she should keep it down. Don't throw me under the bus. You were complaining about it too. All right, all right. You know, I don't like to involve myself in any sort of conflict. Macy, we love that you're so enthusiastic about the game, but when it's the middle of the night and we can hear you through these walls, is it possible for you to keep it quiet when it's late? Oh, wow. Is it really that late? So sorry, I got lost in the game. I'll turn it off for the night. I'll set an alarm next time so I can be sure that I won't bother you all again. Well, that went better than expected. Good job, everyone. Let's all go to bed. Good night, Macy. Good night, Macy. Night all. <laughs> Uh, we've all been gotten by the game rage before. Oh look, that's the lobster you guys were talking about. Macy's lobster. We're getting some good, good little cutscenes now, aren't we? That's a really impressive museum we have. I mean, the old museum was fine, but it wasn't great, if you know what I mean. I know, but now it is great. It's wonderful and beautiful. Is there anybody else around right now? Nope. I think yeah, maybe I'll I'll head on round to fish and ships and see who's about down there. Oh, Macy's here. Not close enough to Macy to enter this room. Okay, well that's fine. I'll have a good old chat with Suki. Now the museum is upgraded, I wonder if Macy will take some photos of it. We can use some updates for the pamphlets of the tourist attractions we hand out at the inn. Okay. Yeah, definitely going to go to fish and ships. There's different people up there. There's always the same people in the Coral Inn, so... 
nice to go elsewhere and just very quickly. I can't grab any bugs in the evening now. Although I think that's the same one as a maple leaf cutter again. Um, I think I may have missed. Everyone's in there though. That can be quick. This the way? Peanut and butter are going home. Which is utterly adorable. Either I'm going to check out the new museum one of these days. Really walk around it, you know? Like me, like I did before, but didn't really have the time. 10 o'clock, so we're going to fish and ships. Let me pass, please. Mayor Connor's in here having a drink. The museum will be a great attraction for our tourism. This will do great for local businesses. I'm thankful to our backers. Eh, I'll visit the museum when the place gets interesting. When huge monsters are there or something. Maybe when I get a few fossils in there. You never know. There are so many statues in the Founders Hall. You're telling me those are all people that gave the town money to renovate the museum? Dang, that's impressive. They are giving a lot of love to the Kickstarter backers and I'm so pleased about that because the amount of times Kickstarter backers kind of get used and abused a bit. You know, games don't happen for them and all sorts. So for a game to not only happen, but to really appreciate them like this is so nice. Nina is smart and humble. I feel like I could talk to her all day and I usually have a hard time chatting with people. But with her, it just flows, you know? I like it when people in the game sometimes have little little flirtations going on. As long as it's not the person I'm interested in. Ah, Starlet Town in full. What a place to be. Oh, look at you with your suave suit. I'd like to know more about what's gone on between those guys. Um, Suki and Antonio. I want to know the story. Alright, I should probably head to bed now, but that was nice because I got myself a little bit of extra a little bit of extra chatting with people, which always helps towards their heart levels. I don't know if there's anybody else at three yet. Mark is at three. I think there's a, probably a couple of others that'll get there. There's some that just don't have any hearts at all though. So despite the fact I always speak to people at uh, all of the festivals. So they're either not at the festival or they just don't like being talked to as much. I've got some mail. Fish soup from Mayor Connor. It was my late wife's recipe. My wife is not here anymore. All these widowers. So sad. Right, so. Relationship wise. I, oh, I do have one heart with Antonio now. Not, not with Elia, Archie. Shay and Charles, I they tend to be either he's like stuck in his office and she's up by the observatory a lot, so that's probably why I don't see them as much. What the singles are doing quite well. What about Kenny? What's the close relationships with other islanders, people, animals, trees, and spirits from beyond? He's an interesting dude, isn't he? I like his cowboy boots. Also, wasn't he the one that had quite cool swimming trunks that had like a belt on them? I think so. Good clothing. Like it. With three stars, three hearts with Mark, three hearts with Scott. Everybody else is two or one or zero. And 10 is the maximum, so... Like I say, we've got a ways to go, but like, still doing okay. So it's time to go to bed now, see what happened overnight, if we may have changed... Yeah, Antonio and Connor, we both got a heart with, nice. We did not make much money though, I'm guessing I might need to do an inventory sort in the morning. But there we are, that, that episode done, so we, we are... Ooh. Another meteor. Okay, well, we'll go and see 
what got dropped so I have a little walk around the farm. Luckily, I did all of that like clearing around the farm. So hopefully the meteor will uh, be easier to locate and get to this time. But that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.